It's everyone's favorite knuckle-headed ninja on the big screen. Okay, time to continue the mission! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Naruto movies. <sighs> Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at all of Naruto's cinematic exploits and ranking them based on their popularity and impact within the anime community. Expect plenty of jutsu and a few light spoilers down the line. <laughs> Number 10, Naruto the Movie, Legend of the Stone of Gelel. The flicks that centered around Naruto before his ship at end days may have had their forgettable moments, but it can't be denied that if you're just looking for a fun romp, then you can't go wrong with this little endeavor. What is it? Naruto, stop antagonizing him! What do you mean? what I do? <laughs> What was originally a low-class mission involving a ferret soon explodes into a battle against robot ninja, moving castles, and a knight named Temju, whose sword would look more in place in a medieval fantasy. That's correct. Allow me to show you. <laughs> what is this? It may not be Naruto's finest hour, but at least Temujin makes for an interesting character, plus Shikamaru gets his chance to shine. We've been waiting for you. What's up? Number 9, Naruto Shippuden The Movie While we all know that there was no way our main character could ever be killed off, the fact that this movie presents the idea that his fate is sealed made for an enticing premise. You're going to die. Very soon. <laughs> huh? What was that? Assigned to guard a priestess who can see the future, Naruto and company must stop the rise of an ancient evil before shit hits the fan. I am only getting started! Fifth gate of closing, open! The film isn't as gutsy as it likes to think it is, but we can still appreciate the battles against the stone army, that sweet Rasengan finisher, and the fact the whole thing ends on a promise of a booty call. Then of course, there's my power. It has to be passed on to the next priestess too. How about it, Naruto? You wanna help me with that? Nice, real nice. Number eight, Naruto Shippuden, the movie, Bonds. While it has plenty of great action, the thing that this movie really has going for it is how it utilizes the character of Sasuke. What's this? This chakra feels strange. After being attacked by Sky Ninja, an escort mission soon turns deadly, leading to the two former rivals forming an unlikely partnership in order to take down a new threat. Go ahead and try it. <gasps> I won't stop you. Be my guest. Given how the movie was set during Sasuke's days as Orochimaru's boy toy, uh, we mean student, it's great to see the medley of reactions caused by his sudden reappearance. He's still in his bad boy phase after all. This is over. <laughs> Number 7 Naruto the Movie Ninja Clash in the Land of Snow for Naruto's cinematic debut, we can happily say we weren't disappointed. Oh man, that movie was so cool. I don't think I've ever been so blown away in my life. I don't want to hear it! Taking our young heroes out of the leaf village and into the snow, they find themselves having to protect a famous actress from a mysterious band of killers. The fact that Team 7 is together in the first place certainly gets the nostalgia rolling, but the movie really pulls out all the stops when it comes to the action. Take this! Rasengan! <laughs> the jutsu here is practically mesmerizing, if a little weird. It's not every day you get to see Kakashi literally engaging in a whale war against an assassin. Settle the fight? That's not really what I was aiming for at the moment. What? Number 6, Naruto Shippuden the movie, The Will of Fire. The stakes really got ramped up with this one, but at the same time managed to give us a character-focused piece that sold the emotional weight. Naruto, looks like something big is happening. After a new villain manages to throw the Leaf Village's political stability into chaos, Kakashi finds himself labeled as a missing nin, and it's up to Naruto and the others to save him from meeting a grisly end. During our very first lesson, Kakashi-sensei taught us something else, too. 
that those ninja who turn their backs on their friends are even worse than scum. The battles are certainly larger than life, but the real selling point is seeing student and mentor fight side by side, fueled by their trust in one another. Let's get him, Naruto. All right. Number five, Naruto Shippuden, the movie, The Lost Tower. We're at the halfway point, you know what this means? Bring on the time travel. You're safe now, no need to be afraid. <laughs> Yes, this movie actually sees Naruto travel back 20 years into the past while chasing down a dangerous criminal. Surprise, surprise, he finds himself encountering his dear old dad before he became the Hokage. You're a Hidden Leaf Shinobi? We're from the Hidden Leaf too. Sure, they don't obey the one single rule of time travel, but it's still cool to see father and son take out such a large threat together. The elsewhere aspect of this film would later be ironed out in a future flick, but there's still plenty to enjoy here. Ah! What the heck was that for? Well, you're always picking on me, so I figured I couldn't pass up the chance. Number 4, Naruto the Movie, Blood Prison. A case of missing identity lands Naruto in the big house, one that limits his chakra and is run by a rather sadistic warden. Kage style, explosive palm! <laughs> As it happens, there's a much bigger threat on the horizon, and it's up to our imprisoned hero to stop it, but first, he's gotta bust out. If you think I'm gonna sit around here waiting for someone else to catch the guy who framed me, you're crazy! While we do wish the grittiness of the premise could have lived up to its potential, seeing Naruto cause a riot and nearly lose his life in this one still made it a compelling watch. Just hope he didn't drop the soap. Off with the shorts. Huh? <laughs> 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 Number 3, Road to Ninja, Naruto the Movie Now this is how you do an Elsewhere story. Naruto and Sakura find themselves heading through the looking glass as Tobi sends them to a parallel world, one where everyone's lives and personalities have been flipped. Did something happen between you and Akamaru? Yeah, like whatever, he's always like this. Damn it all, why couldn't I have been born a cat user instead? Naruto's parents are alive, Sasuke is a pretty chill guy, Hinata lost her nervousness and now seriously wants the D, and the Akatsuki are actually the Leaf Village's ultimate fighting force. I see you brought reinforcements as well! Stop. <sighs> We have come here to help you at the request of Lady Hokage. Honestly, the gags and fights in this movie are so good, we kinda wanna stick around a little longer. Oh, come on, you've gotta be kidding! Those are mine! Fine. Took them from the changing room, huh? Number 2, Boruto, Naruto the Movie. What better way to get us excited for Naruto's sequel series than by giving us a movie that celebrated the best and the worst of his offspring? <laughs> With a stubbornness even exceeding his father, Boruto struggles to find a place for himself in the ninja world, all while eager to gain as much power as possible. That thing is awfully small. I'd be hard pressed to even call it a Rasenga. Of course, he eventually learns the meaning of humility when an all powerful foe rears its ugly head. Even if you're not a fan of Boruto's dad's son over here, you have to check this movie out just to see Naruto and Sasuke reunite to show off their mad OP skills. Number 1, The Last, Naruto The Movie The villain is interesting and the action can get pretty intense, but that's not why you're here. Nope, you're here to see the confirmation of a ship years in the making. It, uh, sounds like you're hungry. I can make you some instant ramen upstairs. No, thank you, good night. Serving as something of a pretty pitch-perfect conclusion to the series, this film is about Naruto finally figuring out that Hinata might actually be into him, cementing their romance beyond a shadow of a doubt. I said... I love you, Hinata. The fact that it took the moon literally falling to Earth for it to click is a whole other matter. But hey, we got our kiss scene, and that's all that counts. Hinata. Naruto. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and subscribe for new videos every day.